Hello, friends. That was lame. This whole bit is lame. I assume you all have names. Anyway, this is Season 1, Episode 4, Mr. Robot Reaction. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Let's, let's go to the video now. Bye. All I have written down for last week is Dinner We Competition. If anyone would like to go back and talk with past Martin and try and decipher what the hell I was talking about, um, feel free to do that. Last week on Mr. Robot, we had choices, choices being made. Is it better to not make a choice or make a choice, even though there may be unforeseen consequences? We ended with Elliot walking into the Mr. Robot gang uh, saying, here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. I assume this is his plan to attack Steel Mountain, I think it was called, uh, a massive resource of data, specifically targeting data from Evil Corp, and to continue the plan to bring the uprising, bring anarchy, get rid of money and debts, all of that good stuff. On top of that, we have the continued adventures of Angela and her being hacked and Ollie and that, just that, that whole thing that's going on. <laughs> so we'll see. See how that progresses. We also got Tyrell and his wife, who is pregnant. Uh, Tyrell's mask slipping as his uh, desperation for more power is uh, is coming over. And we'll see where that goes, I guess. Because I think he can pop off. That man can pop off at any moment. And it could be not a pretty sight when it does. I'm intrigued. I'm excited to see how Elliot's going to handle this problem without making a big boom boom go off. And then any new curveballs that might get thrown at me because it feels like every episode's had something that makes me go, oh, well, that changes things. So we'll see what happens this time, I guess. But before we jump in, please remember to hit the thumbs up if you do enjoy the reaction and the review of the episode that happens afterwards. Also consider subscribing and supporting the channel that way. There are links to Twitch, Discord, and I just started a TikTok, if you can believe it. Me, someone who really didn't like TikTok, and now I have to make one because that's the best way to promote that you do stuff in other places, apparently. So if you're interested, if you're interested in TikTok, there'll be a link to that down below as well. In fact, I just put up a little TikTok of... Eh, let me get it. Of these, I just painted these. Uh, there's a little, comp a little montage of can't really get it it's not focusing focus focus camera it's a necrom it's a necrom there you go you can sort of see it uh so yeah I, I put up a little montage of the different painting layers of that on tiktok so there's stuff there's more stuff that you've probably seen here it's a whole thing go go have a look if you like if you like if you want to I, there's no pressure enough blabbering though let's take a look at this next episode of mr robot see what unfolds shall we and hopefully this time if there are any subtitles i will see them <laughs> one line the last line the consequences of busting Vera, meeting Mr. Robot, creating you. I chose all of this. So here's your final line of morphine. Is he actually going to commit to that this time? <laughs> if HVAC conditions surpass the ceiling 95 degrees, polyurethane adhesive mollifies and tape data is unreadable. I don't think they get it. I don't think they understand what you're saying. Give him a demonstration. This is yeah, what we're doing. There we go. There we go. He wants to hack Steel Mountain's climate control system. Raise the facility's heat high enough to destroy all the tips. Yep. Rather than exploding it, we just make it extra hot and toasty. 24-7 armed guards, closed circuit cameras, NOC staff. Yeah, I think they were hoping to do this without having to break an entry. They want to do this from a distance, but now we're going in. All we need is one security flaw. I see about six walking around. They are the weakness. The employees. All right. His final line. What happens if they're just dudes in suits? What do you want? Jesus, what's he doing? He's just, it's just a man in a suit. Oh, wait, they're talking. I mean, he is shouting. He is shouting at them. <laughs> like, what is that guy doing? Why is he shouting at me? Well, maybe he's right, and they are stalking him. Who knows? Who knows at this point? Four episodes in, and everything is terrifying. It's me, open up. Oh, God, we're really... We're going to get trippy this episode, huh? 
really going to hit that. They're physically copying, then shipping all the analog backups. Five big ass fortress like redundancies across the country. This is what Tyrell was talking about. What'd you just say? Tyrell, as in Tyrell Welling? He's upping the security. He knows what's up. Says this isn't happening till April 1st. It's only the 29th. They gotta go. They gotta go. They gotta go. They gotta get this shit moving. <laughs> We've been planning this for months. Now we're gonna go up on a lock just because he said so? This plan is shit. I mean, it means you don't have to kill a bunch of people. Plus, we have no idea who physically is gonna go in. Yes, we do. Yes, we do know who's gonna go in. I'll go in. In your condition, you ain't gonna do Jack or Jill except puke your brains out or give hand jobs for another eye. I can't wait for his cold turkiness to explode in his face at the most pivotal moment of this heist, because <laughs> it's bound to happen. You're the key to the whole thing. You're the only force of nature at play here. This is what he wanted. And I'm, by the way, still running off of the assumption that they are the same person. And these are just conversations with himself, effectively. The devil's in his strongest while we're looking the other way. Like a program running in the background silently while we're busy doing other shit. That's pretty much exactly what I'm saying about who <laughs> Mr. Robot is. Thanks, Elliot, for putting it in a much more poetic way. They don't drive us. Demons do. And me, I've got more than most. Yep, there it is. He'll feel better now. He'll feel much better now. That's all he needed just to get it out of his system. Now he'll be good to go. Sensitivity to brightness and sound after that overwhelming paranoia followed by the darkest of depressions. <laughs> He's just focusing. He's just like, I gotta get through this. I'm gonna ride all, all the way through this. I got it. I got this. <laughs> God damn, Elliot. Oh boy. I hope nothing goes wrong in this show where it's obviously going to go wrong the first thing i could see every day is a sweet body oh my god ollie the city. ollie just acting like nothing bad happened what a i'm gonna meet my dad for brunch <laughs> you will be wined and you will be dined until i feel i've gotten myself out of the doghouse oh my god i hate him <laughs> i hate him so much I'm really wait, waiting for like the show to bring me round on Ollie, maybe. I don't know though, I don't know. Hollywood hacker bullshit. I've been in this game 27 years, not once have I ever come across an animated singing virus. I have yet to fly through a Tron City directory structure. Oh, the dream, the dream. Can we all live in Tron world? Give me those light cycles, baby. Any word from the road? Jesus, it's been a full 24 hours. Where the hell could they be? Guessing you didn't make contact. Nope. Perhaps this plan was a little too ambitious. More ambitious than exploding it? I mean, come on. We need to hit China's data center simultaneously. If the Dark Army isn't compliant, then there's not much we can do. I got so wasted I forgot it's Sunday. I know where my guy will be. I'm assuming if he wanted contact. What about what I want? All right, well, this will go well. This will go well. No problems will be had. So smooth. Jesus Christ, what the bright light that's just burst in back back heaven get away <laughs> is this ecstasy no it's clarity <laughs> <laughs> whilst elliot tries to get sober everyone else is just gonna go to loopy land fuck it what else could go wrong with my life she says what else could go wrong at this point is this where the dark army hang out Fucking ping pong tables and land parties. Price wrong. What are we gonna do? We dump them at a hospital. Come up with an alternative Ugh. course of action. Ugh. The All of these shots are just. No. Ugh. Then we split. Ugh. We got no time to hold dead weight. Fine. You want to leave? Leave. Screw this, man. All right. There he goes. What hit? No, just to get me back on the road. One hit. I guess he can go cold turkey 
when they're not in the middle of a heist. Maybe. Not that I approve of this. <laughs> yeah, he can go in, but only him. Uh, no can do. I gotta come with. Well, this... This causes issues to my theory about them being one of the same person. Because the guy's referring to two, but it could just be one big delusion, for all I know. I need morphine, pills. Nah, man. It's better. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do this, Elliot. Don't do it. Please. Please. <laughs> Resist. Resist the urge. Uh, this is not good, Elliot. This is gonna fuck everything up, including you. <laughs> what is this about? What is happening here? What on? What the fuck is happening? What just happened? <laughs> Was that real? <laughs> what just happened? Hey, the weather. Why is the weather important? In retrieving lost, damaged, or stolen memory, we are here for you. We have your back. We are as society. I felt like they called attention to the weather for some reason there. Sorry, that's what I took from him having maybe a vision of F-Society talking to him. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was important. The key. He is the key to all this. Hygiene, electronics, and life's necessities that money can provide. Now what is happening? <laughs> Oh, I knew this episode was going to get trippy. I just knew it. Nothing can be simple these days. <laughs> Is this his family home? Oh, or was his family home? Hello? Hello, friend? But we're not friends. First, can you tell me, what's your monster? <laughs> okay, this is not real. This is not real. No way does he have a conversation with a little girl. What's your monster? What does that mean? <laughs> what the f- Don't be shy now. You can come closer. Unsettling, I know. Your pet beta fish chatting you up. But time's money, Elliot. You need something? Can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what? <laughs> We're having a fish talk. We're having a fish talk, and it's fucking. I know the actor who's doing the fish, and I can't remember his name. I look around. Same shit, different day. The lighting, the furniture. What can I do? I want to help. I think it's pretty obvious. There's really only one thing you can do for a brother in a fishbowl. What is it? Move them to a goddamn window! <laughs> oh my god, what a cut. What a fucking cut. <laughs> oh, it's going to annoy me. I know who that actor is. It's He's in The Thing. He's in... Does he they live? Oh, uh, what is his name? <laughs> it's going to annoy me. Man, we are really just going down Elliot's bloody, like... High Palace Brain Mansion, aren't we? And I'm sure it all means something. Yes. Yes. Yes, Elliot, I do. <laughs> <laughs> His face. <laughs> that was amazing. That was so good. <laughs> You're not going to do it, are you? Change the world. Figures. You're only born a month ago. I guess maybe in reference to him starting the revolution. Is that what the one month thing is? I don't know. You are not Elliot. Wow, what a tease. What an absolute tease.
<laughs> right, did you did you go get the, the heroin or was that all all in my head? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, kiddo. Because you can't. Because you can't go anywhere. You're attached. But also, it's him helping himself, I guess. Right, I'm going to assume he never left. <laughs> he never left the place. The heroin and the shooting, all of that was fake. Jesus Christ, what a trip. <laughs> I can't... I was just stunned into silence through most of that. I just couldn't believe what most of that was. What? Wait, where are you going? It's him. I mean, that's not very subtle, is it? <laughs> I'm going to stand here in a creepy mask with my creepy limousine. Vote! Oh, no! Come on. Yeah, maybe this wasn't a great idea. Just maybe. Meanwhile, these two, Jesus, this episode, I can't, I can't keep up with this episode. <laughs> You're not worried? Worried about what? I don't know. I always get worried before starting a new job. Worry's a waste of time. Shit didn't work out with one job, so I got another. That's all. I kind of like these two bouncing off one another. Like, you've got, like, the free spirit and the person who's been doing everything by the rules all their life and now they're making out <laughs> what a time to be alive <laughs> see that badass bitch that's the only person you should ever worry about i mean you should look after yourself but it's also okay to you know look after the people you love as well just saying just putting that out there <laughs> ollie on the other hand can get in the bin Ollie can go away. Angela, get rid of him. Do you know how hard it's been for me to find you? Oh, I'm apologizing for shit. Oh, this is because I dumped your ass. Drama! These guys don't mess around. And whatever it is you think you're doing, freeing the world, freeing the masses, the guys I work for, they ain't motivated by kumbaya shit like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess the Dark Army kind of profits out of the current system and them, like, providing the back door as it were so what the mr robot team are up to doesn't really help them so why would they help them do the thing i guess i don't know they could basically make an enemy out of everyone is what i'm getting at hello again hi long time no whatever it is we do we hang out you know where did you go did you leave or did i you went somewhere my friend <laughs> You went somewhere, and I struggled to follow, but I, I did my best. I did my damn best. All right, Angela, what are we up to? Why are you sneaking, sneaking? From Ollie's computer? You know what? If you want to make Ollie look like the bad guy, maybe it's bad of me, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Just annoyingly, it'll probably fuck things up for other people as well, which we don't want that, Angela, do we? Uh, it's done. She took the advice of you got to look after yourself, and this is the choice she made, I guess. It just made me wonder: Did Angela just stay with Ollie because it gave her a way to put him under the bus, where he kind of belongs, um, rather than her having to do something about it? Face your demons, baby, and that is. The end of the episode. <sighs> God damn. God damn. Okay, I think we can all agree that there is a lot to digest with that. <laughs> Let's start with the simple part of this that Elliot's plan uh, to get at Steel Mountain is basically raise the temperature and, you know, let heat do its work, more or less. That's, that's the end goal, but it involves a much more direct path where they're gonna have to have someone in the building and it involves all these moving cogs 
and it may just be safer for them if they just blew the building up next to it to blow that up and whatever but Elliot being Elliot he doesn't want to do that he wants to do this so we can save some lives and do it for the just cause that they believe in or the, the cause that they think is the just cause we don't know what's going to happen it could be an absolute disaster <laughs> Uh, I thought we were going to get it this episode, but we didn't. We went down a completely different dark alley this episode. <laughs> Honestly, I just didn't write anything for this episode because I was just so like, if I look away, I'm going to miss something because <laughs> this episode is moving a mile a minute. There's so many weird little things happening that if I miss something, it might link to something that's going to happen and I don't want to miss it. So just bear with me. I'm having to just rattle through the episode from memory here. <laughs> Let's start with the more sort of simple elements of this particular episode. We had Angela and she, oh, what's her name? Sheila, she, Sheila, Sheila, Elliot's neighbor. That's what I'm going with. And, and sort of girlfriend. We had them hanging out. You know, I liked it because it was the two very different types of people. Angela, who is very high strung, is trying to do a good job and has lived her life like by those rules as it were and then you had the free spirit just like hey just go with it wing it don't be nervous or anxious just do what's right for you and all of that kind of stuff and having those two opposites interact that was fun it was fun seeing that and seeing how that was influencing Angela's current uh predicament it led to her putting the hack into all safe and that's gonna blow up that's gonna be a whole thing and Obviously, we'll come back round into the main story in some way. I am all here for her throwing Ollie under the bus <laughs> at this point in time. Maybe the show will turn me round on Ollie. I don't know, though. He's... Oh, he rattles my cage, does that man. <laughs> he rattles it good and proper. Um, we'll see. I Like I say, I just fully expect that that's going to blow up in a bad way and possibly hurt um what Elliot's doing in in some way because now we've got a little bit more into the dark army we got confirmation that the dude is part of the dark army and he knows um Delia Delia is that her name oh my god I'm so bad with names Darlene Darlene's her name um we know that there's a connection there so that's another way the things can loop back round and become part of the main story but I do just really appreciate that you know this fourth episode is leading into all these kind of little side stories that are going on but it's leading it in a way where it's like no all this stuff is important it's gonna come back round and we'll play it out and you know stay with us um there's enough there to keep me hooked with that stuff because like i said last week uh the sort of ollie angela stuff was like eh, i can take or leave this it's not it's it's all right it's something for those characters to do but i'm not as invested in it as what's going on over here um, this episode, I think, really helped reinforce, no, 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 stay with it. There's more to it. It's going to come back round and you'll see. And thankfully, yeah, like I say, the episode did that. So I'm here for that. Like, I'm invested in Angela as a character. I don't know if I 100% agree with her choices and why she does what she does. But I can certainly empathize with her and why she's doing it. Um, like, she's in a very stressful situation. How do you confront that stressful situation? I, even though I hate Ollie, he made a good point about, look, we can do what they want, but then they can just do the thing that they're going to say they're going to do anyway, so don't don't give in to them. Like, I kind of agree with him on that. Like, they don't seem like the sort of people to maybe hold them to their word. Um, but I guess we'll wait and see. I guess we'll have to see if, if they actually come through on their end of the bargain, as it were, now that she's done that. And if indeed her removing the disc was a problem or not i imagine like it just flashed up and it was like boom done hacked it's it's happened so i guess we'll wait and see on that then we come to elliot here so we started off the episode with him going one more this is my last hit before i go cold turkey get better so i can concentrate on all these things that i need to get done i've got all my personal shit going on i've got this big plan to change the world that i'm involved with now i'm also the key to everything apparently so christian slater tells me who is actually me because you know that's what i think it is anyway that's how i'm treating it because that's what it feels like so what does that mean what's the relevance of him being the key is he literally just the one smart enough to pull this off is that what that is in reference to or is there more to it than that is there something else going on i don't know 
I do wonder if this is going to be him clean, sober, no more morphine from this point out. It seems like he did ride out the wave of awfulness. I don't know. They did say that it could keep happening for a couple weeks, so he, there's time there for him to slip back into it. But it definitely seemed like they got him waking up saying, OK, you got through the worst of it. Now you just got to keep pushing. That's what it felt like, but I might be wrong on that. But I appreciate Elliot's mentality of going, no more. This is it. I'm done. We're not going down this path anymore. I've got too much shit going on. And you know what? I, su I support him in this. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I thought we were going to get into the meat and potatoes of this heist that they were planning and how it was going to start unfolding. And maybe it'd be like a two-part situation where we have the beginning of the heist and then there's going to be like a dangerous thing that happens, like some sort of cliffhanger, and then there'd be a part two to resolve it. But no, we went down this whole other alleyway of him getting sober, going cold turkey, just tripping the fuck out. And what does this all mean? <laughs> so first off, I will say I I really felt it, like in how it was filmed, like Ram Rami Malek's performance of like coming through this cold sweat and these visions and delusions and dreams and whatever you want to call them, like his physical performance matched with his, like how he's doing the lines and all that stuff. It, it like made me feel like gross and sweaty <laughs> and like tense and just unpleasant all around. But then as for the actual trip out, obviously there's layers going on there. Uh, like this whole episode had talks about demons, what's laying on your back, like how do you confront your own demons? Do you just let them run wild? And that seemed to come through his trippiness, like him dealing with various different aspects of what he's going through and the whole key thing, him wanting to propose to Angela or be with Angela in a romantic sense or just a more intimate sense. And indeed what he thinks of himself, um, I think was coming across in those that trip out session as well. More than likely there were probably allusions to stuff that's going on in the story. Like I thought my theory for a moment was completely cut out that um, Christian Slater and him were the same person because the dude was talking to like both of them. But then it was revealed that he didn't ever go to the junkie house, so that's null and void. Um, that, again, it was a great job of those visions because there was times where it was like, oh, this is very obvious, a continuation of the trip out. And then there was another moments where it was like, wait, is this real now? I can't tell. I guess this is what being cold turkey high is. I don't know. I have no experience of it, but I'm guessing that this is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure the whole thing was layered with like clues as to what's happening, why it's happening, what could potentially be happening in the future episodes, um, all that stuff. I feel like it's very purposely designed to be something that you would watch again once you see the season play out. And then you could pick out all the stuff that is like, oh, this is what they're saying. This is what they're saying. So in within this vision, we had him talking to a fish. <laughs> and I think Angela then ate the fish when it got bigger. Um, who was the actor? Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me. It's this dude. He's in the thing. Is his name on the back of this box? It... Where, where is it? Where is it? I know the guy. I know the actor. Where? Actors. Where are the actors? It just says starring Kurt Russell. There's more than Kurt Russell in this movie. Stop lying to me, Box. Will they live help me? Will they live help me with this? Hold on. I know Rowdy's in there. Where, where's... Where is he? Keith. It's Keith something, right? It's Keith something. Keith David, that's it. I got there. Yeah, Keith David as the fish. Um, Unexpected, but funny, <laughs> nevertheless. Weird that you had Tyrell in the background with the key. Um, like it's just all these different elements of uh, Elliot's life going on, like what's currently going on, what's currently running through his brain, the past of his dad's favorite pie that's always lingering in his mind, uh, his dad and everything with that. He also had him having a hallucination about his old family home and then the 404 era of this cannot be found. So maybe there's an element of his memory that he's hiding from himself uh, that he doesn't want to remember. Or there's a key piece of information, key, key, key piece of information that is missing with that memory some somewhere. Um, there was a little girl asking about your monster. Um, what is that in reference to? There's there's a lot. There's a lot. 
going on here. I really, honestly, I honestly can't wait to watch this episode again once I've finished the season and then see what I pick out of it. That was like, oh, that, that, I get you. I get you. And maybe it goes beyond that. Maybe there's things that I don't know what the plan was for this show, how many seasons they were planning on having, etc. Um, but maybe they seeded all kinds of shit in there because I could see them doing that. In the end, even past the tripping out, it seemed like people came back to help him, got him some medicine to help him get through his cold turkiness. But hopefully this heist will go well. I expect it will not go smoothly, but maybe it won't be because of him having a sweat and problems and stuff. Maybe it'll be a completely different problem that will come up. I greatly enjoyed the episode. Um, had a very different feel, or not different feel, but it was absolutely leaning way more heavily into the ethereal like what's real what's not real the delusions like that stuff has been present in the other episodes but it was all this kind of you can't really tell if it's actually happening or not whereas in this it was very much we're just gonna swing right on over here into this alley and have fun with it with a filmmaking point of view and a story point of view and just indulge in it a little bit and it just made for a nice change of pace i suppose and a change of visual style for them to to go on with and yeah i enjoyed it i enjoyed it a great deal overall so all i can say is that i presume next time we are gonna jump into this heist and they're gonna try and take advantage of the staff that uh can give them an in whilst you know they're on the clock the tyrell is moving this operation to spread out to five different centers making it a lot harder to do what they're trying to do so i guess next time we're gonna get to see the product of all this work and if it goes well or not probably there will be issues because drama <laughs> so i'm excited i'm excited to see it i'm excited to see how this is all gonna come about as we i guess we move into kind of the middle of the season right i don't know how many episodes there are 13 we're moving into the middle of the season man it's we're going along fast here we're, we're getting through this i'm more than sure that i've missed something in this episode because it feels very purposely layered in that way to maybe make you miss something and to see something if you watched again that kind of thing um but yeah i enjoyed it it was a good time i hope you enjoyed this ramble and just my sheer confusion from everything that just happened <laughs> thank you for watching this one guys if you enjoyed it please press the thumbs up button helps me know you liked it helps to get seen by more people also consider subscribing supporting the content that way also leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of this episode links in the description to all my other stuff that i make uh that's it thank you uh hope to see you next time catch you on the next one i've really fumbled through this outro bye everyone <laughs>